Hi. My name is Mr. Lean. And this is an introduction to the 5Y method. Often when we look at a problem, we see the consequences, not the cause. This is a method that will help you find the root cause of a problem. With the real problem identified, you will be able to solve it for good. First, let's have a look at an example of what could happen if you don't apply the 5Y method. Hey Bob, how are you? I am good, thanks. Good. How is the form work going? I am afraid we are a little behind schedule, but we are doing our best to make up the time. Oh, you are late? Why? We got a late start. Apart from that, the progress has been as expected. But you know that the concrete is coming tomorrow. Now we will have to cancel the order. Yes, I am aware of that. That is very unfortunate. Well, next time, be sure to get started according to the schedule. Of course, but we had a little problem. No excuses. Just do it, will you? So, the concrete got delayed? Yes, but don't worry, I made sure it is not going to happen again. Good. If this happens again you can kiss your bonus goodbye. You're late again? How could this happen this week too? Well, as I tried telling you last week, there were other reasons to why we were late. Maybe you should have investigated better. Well, that didn't go too well, did it? Now let's have a look at what would happen if the 5Y method had been applied. Hey Bob, how are you? I am good, thanks. Good. How is the form work going? I am afraid we are a little behind schedule, but we are doing our best to make up the time. Oh, you are late? Why? We got a late start. Apart from that, the progress has been as expected. Why did you get a late start? Well, there was an excavator in the way. One of the subcontractors left it there, and we could not get a hold of them. But why did they leave it there in the first place? I spoke with the subcontractor when I asked them to remove it. Apparently nobody told them that we needed the site to be cleared as soon as possible. Well, it sounds like this has a deeper cause. I better talk to the project manager. And then the formwork got delayed because the diggers didn't know that they had to move the excavator. Why did they not know that? Don't they talk to each other? Well, I guess the different trades aren't exactly the best at communicating with each other. Why do you think they're not communicating? They focus on their own work, and they don't see the project as a whole. Oh, we have to do something about that. Do you have any suggestions? Yes. Maybe we should have weekly scheduling meeting with every participant in the project? I think that could really help people see the whole picture. That is a great idea. This way all the subcontractors will be updated on what everybody else are doing, and problems like this will be less likely to happen again. So Bob, what did you think about this meeting? Do you feel like everyone knows what we are up to in the next week? Yeah, this was great. I think we all learned something, and that we from now on can work better as a team. Oh hi there. Wasn't that a good example of the benefits of the 5Y approach? I hope you've all learned something, and I look forward to seeing you again.